But Coach Jay Johnson and the Arizona Wildcat baseball team needed a win tonight against Grand Canyon University to get back to 500 at 19 and 19. Avery Weems was on the mound for the Cats and he will get the strikeout, but it would go downhill in the third with runners on for GCU. Kona Quiggle is saying for shizzle. Kona Quiggle with the base hit and that'll end up giving Grand Canyon a 1-0 lead because he is safe. And here comes Jay Johnson to put in pitcher Zach Sherman and with the base loader Sherman hits the batter. It is now 2-0 GCU. In total, Johnson used three pitchers in the inning and Grand Canyon put up five runs, but the Cats would get a couple back with the runner on base. There you saw it. Nick Quintana says, laters. Quintana crushes one over the scoreboard. The two-run <laughs> home run is his ninth of the year. Still in the end, Arizona falls 11-9. Hey, Coach Mike Candre and the University of Arizona softball team have jumped to number three in the nation, just behind number one Oklahoma and number two UCLA. And it's no wonder that the Cats continue to get national recognition. Get this, Arizona is currently on a 20-game winning streak and is an unbeaten record in Pac-12 play. We're talking 15 wins, no losses, and arguably the toughest conference in the nation alongside the SEC. <coughs> Cats have now swept five straight conference series for the first time since the league moved to three games uh, eight years ago in series play at least. Props also go out to coach Mike Candrea. He made history by notching his milestone 1600th career win over the weekend. Coach Candrea is currently at 1601 wins overall and get this, his 1600th career victory took place in just over 2,000 games. That makes him the fastest coach in NCAA history in any sport, any division to reach 1600 career wins. Arizona will now take its perfect Pac-12 record and 20 game winning streak on the road against the California Golden Bears in Berkeley. Ultimately important for us to just stay present, you know, and that's it's kind of been our goal all year is just, you know, not worry about the past, but um, take care of every day. And, and, um, and I, I warn them all the time about looking too far down the road. So, yeah, I, th I think this group, um, the maturity level of this group is good. And I think they understand what needs to be done because they've been through it. If we're not going to take anything lightly, you know, we kind of did that with GCU and they stayed in the game with us. So I think just going in and knowing like who we are as a team and what we can do and just playing our game and doing that no matter what happens. Finally, the Arizona sports world is mourning the loss of one of the best all-time basketball coaches in not only Tucson history, but state history. Longtime Saguaro High School basketball coach Dick McConnell has passed away after a long illness. He was 89 years old. Now this is footage from his retirement tribute at Saguaro around 12 years ago. He led Saguaro to four state championships at 5A in 1970 and 1982 and 4A titles in the year 2000 and 2001. He was also state runners up in 1982 when his team went 28 and one and another state runner up in 1988. As a head coach, McConnell won over 770 games Spent 39 seasons at Saguaro. Before that, he was an assistant at Rincon High School. Rest in peace, Coach McConnell. We'll be right back.